Hello. Uh, you should come come to Rio, 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 uh, come to Carnival again. <laughs> What's up everybody? So I'm right now at the subway, presenting subway in Rio, and I'm going to favela right now. So I don't have too much time to talk because the subway's coming. <laughs> that was sick. All right, so we're in the favela right now. Uh, it had to be pretty quick because I can't really like record too much in Rio because it's kind of dangerous holding stuff like this out. But this is my guide, Alex. Hello, hello. Welcome, <laughs> welcome to Brazil. The million dollar view in like in a favela. See, we're like in between two different mountains here. That's for the rich neighborhood. And then the favela is just in between the two. So we're at the top of this favela here, um, looking out at the scene here. But it's definitely a view that I don't think you get to other than with um, our, our friendly guide here. Alex, so are there guides that do this type of tour where you get to see a view like this? No, no. So you're the you're one of the few that does that? Yeah, I, I, I am a local guide. I have permission to walk to everywhere, no? I know everywhere, no? I don't need a, a Google map, no? <laughs> Alright, so we're walking through the streets of the favela here. Alex is being our guide. But we're in Rocinha. Uh, it's like a, one of the biggest favelas here in Rio. But you can see how narrow it is here. Alex was kind of telling us that here in the favela, like they have their own set of rules. Um, like their taxes. They have like rules of conduct here. So it's just basically like a little city state. Is everyone cup Brazil World Cup? Oh, the team? Yeah, uh, 58, 62, 70, 94. The last time, 2002. Pelé. No? Collapsed house. Ronaldo. Rivaldo. Carter Carlos. Yeah, everything here in the favela is kind of like, they do everything themselves. Sounds like in the community. So that house we just saw, all the houses here are built by the people in the community. It was all first built in wood, and now in cement. So it's probably unsound structure back there. It's uh, like a city, a small city. In South Africa, there are like a slum. Is um, no. But, but the, I mean, this is quite beautiful, I think, and like a, a very culturally yeah. rich it, it, community. Ever since here, we, we don't need to go out. He, yeah. he have a school, bank, a hospital, no church. <laughs> What is that? I think it's like a chicken bread thing. Bread thing? <laughs> what, so what is this? I've seen a lot of people drink out of it. The soda. Soda. Right, soda? Natural soda. Not juice? No, no. Yo, walking the familiar, it's, it's not as bad as I thought. A lot of misconceptions before going. I thought that there would just be a lot of like drugs and gangs here. But it seems to be that they're like a lot, it's a lot more than just that. It's like its own community and it's just a friendly place to be. Drugs and gangs are, it's not the focus of the favela. And at least that's what's being shown to me right now. There's a whole community here and it's like it's bustling. So I'll just keep on showing you all around of what it looks like here. Everyone tries to open your your own business, the small business, to make more money, no? Mm -hmm. Because the minimum wage here in Brazil is not enough for the people to survive, no? Normally people have two different jobs to make more mm -hmm. money, no? All right, we're on the main road now. Oh man. Oh, we're at the, we're at the beginning. Like yeah, the, the yeah. front you're talking about. I recognize it. Yeah, we were all the way up there. This community would be perfect without crime and, and violence, no? 
violence in general because I grew up with violence. What I didn't want my son to grow up in the same situation, no? Yeah. I've lost many friends for crime. Most die or die in prison, no? I actually, I love this place even with all those problems. This yeah. is my home. No, thank you. That Thanks was really, really, really nice. Thanks for thank coming, you. my friend. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I just got back from the favela tour. So I went to Rocinha, favela in Rio de Janeiro. It's just like on the, I think the southern side. It's like in a different part of Rio than where I'm staying. I took a subway all the way to get there. I did an Airbnb experience led by Alex. It's getting pretty dark, so I'm gonna keep it kind of short. But yeah, I did the favela tour with Alex. I found him through Airbnb and the experience overall was, you probably heard as I was going through the favela, like my comments about it. But basically I had like this whole idea that favelas were just basically just a lot of gangs and drugs and it's kind of like um, like a war zone like a drug war zone and that families just kind of live in that area surrounded by all that violence but i was completely wrong walking around it honestly felt safer just walking around there with alex and being in copacabana alone all of the misconceptions i had of favelas were erased on that trip and it was just amazing to see how a community like that is self-sustaining in like a bigger city like rio and I think Alex's tour is special in that he takes you through the city, through like the little the little streets that are just not on the main road that like an, that another tour company would do. And also he takes you to this huge this huge viewpoint of the favela. You just see like basically the whole range of the city from one point. And it's just amazing to see. The experience overall was I thought an amazing one, like one that I think you can't really get anywhere else since he's also a local from the favela. He showed us all around everywhere and he knew everyone. So it was pretty easy to get around and anyone coming to Rio, you should highly consider doing Alex's tour. I'm going to link it in the description below and show his Instagram right now. Uh, thank you, Alex. Hopefully you're watching this. And to everyone who was on the tour, I uh, hope you all had a good time as well as much as I did. I thought it was really cool just even getting up there in the motorcycles. I just thought the entire experience was just amazing, fantastic. So thank you again, Alex. Uh, it's the end of my day. I skipped all my workout this morning and I told myself to be in the year that I'd start working out more. So I'm gonna go run in Copacabana, maybe hit hit the little like exercise racks there and get some pull-ups in, maybe some dips, maybe some push-ups. We'll see how I feel, but right now I'm gonna go on a run and thank you all for watching. Show me anyway that all this information is useful you like seeing me go through these adventures like comment subscribe share with your friends and see you all soon so bye you and her dm i'm in her mouth we not the same, not the same. flipping the funk the heat the fire got the flame